Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Technology and today in this video tutorial I will show you guys how to create a backup server for your small company or office. So I'll use Windows 11 machine to create backup server. So let's get started. So at first you need to create a backup drive and user access for backup server. So first of all, I will create a dedicated backup drive on my system. If your system doesn't have an external drive for backups, then you can swing your C drive and create a new partition for storing backups. So you just need to right click on your start menu and click on disk management. After that right click on C drive and click on shrink volume. Here I will enter the amount of space that I want to shrink from C drive. So I will select near about 20 GB and after that click on submit. And as you can see the new unlocated partition is showing over here. So just right click on new unlocated space and after that click on new simple volume. Then click on next and assign the dive letter then volume level means your volume name so i will set over here backup drive you can set any and file system i will choose here ntfs after that click on next and finish now new backup drive is ready it will show on your this pc the next i will create user for backup access for that i have to open cmd so i'll go to start window and type cmd and right click on cmd and click on run as administrator After open CMD, you just need to type the command is called net space user and that will show you the current user of your computer. So here I will create a new user called test. So I will type net space user space test. Test is my username and space 123. 123 is the password and space slash add. After that press enter and it will successfully create the new user. And now you need to grant that share and security permission to that user for that backup drive. For that you just need to right click on your backup drive which I have created. And after that go to properties, then go to sharing tab, then go to advanced sharing, then click on share this folder and permissions. Under permissions you just need to add that username. So I will type over here test and after that click on check names and I will give the full control to that user and after that click on apply then ok. Same way you need to grant security permission for that you just need to go to security tab and after that click on edit then click on add the username you just need to type over here so I will type over here test and after that click on check names and I will give the full control then click on apply then ok. Next I will open my CMD and type IP configs to check my backup server IP address. On my client machine I just want to backup this E drive. So first I will map that network drive means backup drive to my this PC. So I will click on this three dot button and click on map a network drive then slash slash the IP address of your uh, backup drive. If you click on browse, it will show you that backup drive. Simply select that drive and click on OK and click on finish. After I added your backup drive to your PC, you just need to open notepad and here I will create one batch script that will help you to backup all your data to your backup drive automatically every day. So script I will provide to my video description so you can copy from there. Here only you just need to change the source and destination location. So in my case source is my E drive as you can see. So I'll type over here E. For destination you just need to type slash slash the IP address of your backup drive and after that press enter.
Now copy the location and paste it on your notepad. After done, go to the file and click on save as. File name, I will select here backup script. And after that, you need to type dot bat. Bat is, a, is the extension and save, save as type. You have to select here all files and after that click on save. Now as you can see the batch file is created successfully. Now if I'll run that batch file on my computer it will auto backup that drive to backup drive. Now if you want to automate this backup then simply open task scheduler on your computer. After that click on create basic task. Type the name here I will type backup. Select here daily, weekly or monthly as per your requirements. Then click on next. Now set the time and start date. After that select start a program option and click on next. Now here you have to click on browse and select that batch file over here. After that click on next then finish and you are done. Before ending this video, I would like to big thanks to all my channel members. A special shout out to everyone who regularly watches my videos and support the channel through membership. Your support truly means a lot. So if you want to support the channel too, then click on the join button and become a channel member to help me to making more helpful content like this. Thanks again for watching and as always, I will see you on the next one.